Hi everyone, I will be taking you through the lesson Veros Receiving. After completing this lesson, we should be able to describe the process of receiving goods, explain receipt routing, uh, explain receipt processing methods, uh, we should be able to create standard receipts, we should also be able to explain substitute receipts, unordered receipts, pay on receipts and returns and corrections and we should also be able to go through few profile options as well. So the first topic is on overview of receiving. So what is uh, receiving? So uh, it's a process uh, uh, that signals that the goods ordered on a purchase order, transfer order, customer return and so forth have arrived. So Oracle Fusion receiving enables you to control the items you ordered through receiving uh, inspections and put away. We can define the receiving tolerances and rules at the organization, supplier, item and order level with the lowest level overriding uh, previous levels. We can also record receipt of uh, unordered items, uh, research a receipt and match the receipt uh, to an existing purchase order. So the put away items from the receiving or inspection locations uh, to their final destination. And uh, we can also define which items require inspection and we can accept or reject items and provide detailed information about their inspection results. And we can also record returns to suppliers as well. And we can correct uh, and uh, review and correct the receiving transaction errors. This uh, diagram depicts how you record uh, inspections, uh, deliveries and metal movements uh, within receiving and inspection by entering receiving transactions. The transactions uh, provide a history enabling you to track an item from its source to its destination. So the receiving transactions allow you to stage metal in receiving before delivering to put away locations. Receipt routing. So there are three uh, receipt routing options which are available. The first one is uh, direct delivery uh, which is a one step uh, process uh, the goods are received uh, and delivered in one step that is direct delivery it's if, if it is a standard receipt it follows it has two steps the, in the first steps the goods are received in one step and uh, in the second step uh, once the goods are received we are we have to do a put away transaction uh, or put away receipt to uh, move the metal from uh, the uh, receipt to the storage locations. And if it's an inspection required, it uh, involves three steps. Uh, that is, in the first step, the goods are received. In the second step, uh, inspection, uh, uh, as, as part of the inspection, whether you accept or reject the goods with uh, detailed information on the uh, inspection results, and in the third uh, uh, step, your uh, goods are accepted and are put away in the third step. Receipt processing uh, method. So, uh, so we can use any of the uh, these receipt processing methods to feed receipts into receiving. The first one is uh, standard receipt. Uh, you could use this. Uh, use the receive expected shipments user interface to enter receipt of items from the receipts work area. So uh, the next uh, one is uh, that is uh, ASNs and ASBNs advanced shipment notice. Uh, so you could uh, have your suppliers uh, create this uh, ASNs and uh, ASBNs uh, through the supplier portal, and we could also uh, 
uh, get this. Um, uh, we can also allow the warehouse manager to manually load the ASNs and ASDNs also through the receipts or area or through the EDA or XML interface as well. And we also can provide uh, the employees uh, with the uh, ability to receive expensed uh, purchase items using the self-service receiving uh, mode as well. And uh, we could also make use of web services and spreadsheet upload uh, uh, for ASNs, receipts, uh, inspections, putaways, corrections and returns as well. Expected receipts. So uh, some of the steps which you could see for entering the receipts, uh, that is first one is choosing the organization. Once you choose the organization, we could find, uh, you could search uh, by providing uh, more information like uh, a specific purchase order or you could just click on search and you could find the expected uh, receipts. And then uh, you could uh, provide uh, the input for the receipt details it could be like quantity, unit of measure, location, uh, sub-inventory, etc. And then uh, input the uh, receipt header, uh, whether you want to create a receipt uh, to a new receipt header uh, for the receipt lines just entered, uh, or you want to add the lines to an existing receipt, and then finally submit the receipt to complete the receipt process. So the receipt structure, uh, this uh, diagram depicts the receipt structure and uh, the three steps including the receipt inspection and put away. So the header, uh, uh, the receipt header contains the details related to the overall uh, uh, purchase receipt. Uh, there can be only one header per receipt as we all know and the common information about the source of the receipt or expected receipt is stored at the header level. Uh, lines, the receipt line contains the details about the specific goods or items or services we have received. And as part of the transactions, uh, the each transaction made against an individual receipt line is stored in the system as a receiving transaction. So uh, the, the what fields are available on the receipt header is available on this particular slide, so which uh, we can um, also see during the demonstration. And similarly for the receipt line as well, some of the important attributes uh, would be the quantity, unit of measure, the item uh, description, uh, destination type, order number, etc. Returns and corrections. So this diagram on the slide uh, basically depicts how the process of uh, return and correction works. So uh, we can, uh, if it is return, we can return delivered items uh, to receiving and return uh, received or delivered externally sourced item to the supplier if the purchase order has neither been cancelled or uh, uh, not finally closed. We can also return to the supplier unordered receipts that have not been matched. And from the corrections point of view, Oracle Fusion uh, receiving provides the capability to correct any re receiving transaction against a purchase order except another correction and a return to a re receiving transaction. So additional receiving features, uh, so uh, some of them uh, are receiving tolerances. So we can define the receiving tolerances at the organization item or at the order level. Uh, so these checks include uh, the over receipt tolerance, uh, early and uh, late receipt tolerance, etc. And uh, it also, uh, the another uh, additional receiving feature is on unordered receipts. So we can receive items from a supplier when you do not have or do not know a corresponding purchase order number. So these items are tracked on the system uh, while you wait for a uh, buyer uh, to specify which purchase order should be used or the items ought to be returned to a supplier. And the next uh, uh, additional receiving feature is on substitute receipts. 
So when entering uh, uh, items in the item master, we have the ability to identify the parts that can be substituted or for each other. And uh, the next uh, receiving feature is pay on receipt, uh, which is the purchasing uh, works in conjunction with the accounts payable system to streamline the procurement process by generating invoices to suppliers based on receipt transactions. So configuring the procurement uh, business function. Uh, so we have uh, the receipt close point and receipt close tolerance percentage. So uh, as part of the receipt close point, uh, we could select the receipt close point, which is, uh, which is when the shipment is closed for receiving. There are, uh, so this manage receiving parameters user interface uh, is access to the setup and maintenance work area and we can uh, uh, use any of these receiving parameters. So these are the various uh, uh, receiving parameters, allow substitute receipt, allow unordered receipts. So, uh, uh, and also uh, on this particular manage receiving parameters user interface, we could also uh, uh, configure this receipt number generation as well, whether you want it to be automatic or whether you want it to be manual. Even the same applies for written material authorization that is RMA as well. There are a few receiving profile options uh, as well. Please have a look at these profile options as well. And this diagram depicts the integration of receiving with quality inspections. So the quality inspection allows you to collect all the quality inspection results at receipt to provide, uh, 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 to provide an enabling quality visibility and collaboration so we can do the uh, we can do uh, that is um, we can enter quality inspection results we can process metal based upon inspection results uh, and we could also view quality inspection results as well And to support all this uh, objective, uh, receiving is enhanced to allow uh, receiving agents based on an organization parameter to collect all quality inspection results directly in uh, quality inspection by using quality inspection plan and sampling functionality. And we could also check against quality inspection when a quality inspection plan is missing. So let us go ahead and uh, check uh, the receiving uh, an in-transit uh, interrupt transfer as part of the demonstration. So we have seen this uh, during one of the previous lessons where uh, we issue and transfer material. So let us quickly uh, go and check the setup and maintenance. Click on uh, select the, con, uh, the uh, offering manufacturing and supply chain materials management. Select the function area inventory management and under that check uh, the uh, check the task manage interorganization parameters. So here in the inter uh, in the from organization or the source organization is say 001 and the destination organization is say 002 and click on search. Uh, earlier we have discussed during one of the lessons issue tra uh, transfer and material. So here uh, from the source organization 001, uh, 001 to destination organization 002, the uh, inventory uh, the transfer type is in transit. If you click on edit here, remember uh, we have discussed that um, since if it's a transfer order required, then it is an IMT flow uh, where the document would be available. And if it is, uh, if there is no document which is required, then we could just use in the interorganization transfer. 
If the receipt routing here is standard, then we need to do a put away transaction as well. If it is uh, inspection, say suppose, then we need to uh, complete the receipt routing in three steps. First one is you need to do a receipt in the destination organization. And once you do a receipt in the destination organization, you need to do a, an inspection. And once you complete the inspection, you need to do a put away transaction as well. So let us select, uh, say, inspection. Click on OK. And click on save and close. Now go to the home page. Click on inventory management and go to the task panel and select uh, the uh, manage uh, under the inventory, uh, select a uh, create interorganization transfer. So before we go ahead and do that, uh, I wanted to check the quantities for the item AS65001. Let us go to the task panel once again, click on manage item quantities and check for the quantities in the uh, for the item AS65001. Click on search. And if I drill down this further, you should be able to see for the, across all the organizations. And I want to uh, see it in the organization sub inventory, organization 001, and in the sub inventory stores. View item availability. So I have one quantity for transaction. So before I go ahead and uh, create this interval transfer, I need to change the organization from 002 uh, to 001. One. Click on OK. It's taking a while to uh, uh, pop up the page once again. So I'll refresh this page. Let me see if it works. Or else uh, what I'll do is I'll close this uh, tab and reopen the tab once again, a uh, new tab. Now let us go to the inventory management on the under task panel. Click on create interorganization transfer. It is now 001. And for some reason, uh, if I change the organization, it is not showing up the page properly. Uh, it's all demo instances. So please ignore the uh, error. Destination organization is 002. And where is the source organization? It is right here. It's just right next to the change ordination. So the source ordination is 001 and the destination ordination is 002. Uh, and the uh, transaction type is in transit shipment. So select, uh, click on generate shipment number and you could make a note of this number 305865. I'm noting it down on the notepad 305865. And click on the transaction line. Uh, add the line AS65001 and you could provide uh, the source sub inventory as well. Uh, I can provide the source sub inventory as stores and the destination sub inventory also as say stores. Now click on submit. So we have, okay. So for that we need to provide a quantity. I missed providing the quantity. Let me provide the quantity as one well and click on submit. So we have created a uh, interor transfer. Click on OK. So now if I go and check uh, the quantities, uh, let me go back to the manage item quantities page. So and, and search for say AS65001. And click on search. I would be able to see the quantities uh, in the sub inventory stores, if you click on view item availability, the quantity available to transact or reserve is zero. Click on OK, but the quantity has not gone up in the organization 002 or in the, uh, in the uh, and also in the sub inventory stores, in the destination sub inventory stores. Click on done. Now, for that, we need to complete the receipt process. So click on the task panel, change uh, the menu from inventory to uh, receipts 
and also before we, uh, and also click on uh, receive expected shipments so we are not expecting the shipments in the source organization so we are expecting the uh, metal in the destination organization so change the organization from 001 to 002 so now let us uh, okay here again i'm facing the problem so i'll close this tab and reopen it once again and let me open uh, the new tab and create a receipt transaction in the organization 002 click on inventory management go to the task panel and click on receive expected shipments so now i can provide the in transit shipment number which i have made a note 305865 click on search and you should be able to see this particular line and you could just click on receive now you could provide the quantity here the quantity which you have received and you could click on create receipt and click on submit so this is the receipt number which has uh, this is the receipt number click on ok so now even now you would not be able to see the quantity increase in the destination or nation because we need to do the inspection so uh, we need to check the inspection as well inspect receipts provide the in transit shipment number click on search and you should able to uh, click on inspect and you should be able to perform this second step as well so you need to provide the inspection quality as uh, above excellent and then you could uh, check uh, this click on submit so click on ok so this since this is integrated with the oracle fusion uh, quality inspection management uh, we are seeing uh, some new steps in uh, release 13 so you could uh, ignore the, the error at this point of the time so we need to um, add those inspection plans etc say suppose uh, the receipt routing is only standard then uh, what we could do is instead of completing it in three steps, we could complete it in two steps. That is, you do a receipt and then you do a uh, put away transaction as we have seen in the uh, uh, issue and transfer materials lesson. Click on submit. So, uh, pardon me. Uh, so, you, since you, this is already covered in the issue and transfer materials uh, lesson, uh, we will uh, skip this part and we'll go back to the presentation and pardon me because I couldn't configure the complete the configuration from uh, the quality uh, related uh, module point of view. So in this lesson we have uh, learned how to describe the process of receiving goods, uh, explain the receipt routing, explain the receipt processing methods, we have seen how to create standard receipts and we also have explained about substitute receipts, unordered receipts, pay on receipt and returns and corrections. We also have gone through few setup options as well. Thanks everyone for joining this particular session.